to stay. I don't understand why I'm even staying. I don't need the money that badly. Because it's part of the show, part of them trying to scare us. And I, I was so pissed. I was like, you don't think that we weren't looking around, that we would notice someone standing out there or we wouldn't notice a leash? I had the pleasure of interviewing actress and screenwriter Natalie Sheets. She's known for her work on Madison County, Shadow Theory, and Blood Valley Seed Revenge. But she's mainly known for her role as Natalie on the hit show Siberia. We talk about what inspired her to become an actor, her entire audition process with Siberia, and an unaired scene that would have changed the entire plot of the show. So sit back and enjoy the podcast. What inspired you to become an actor? I've always loved acting from a young age. I think I had like a very strong feeling about it from the age of 11. Um, I watched an Audrey Hepburn film, My Fair Lady with my mom, and I fell in love with her and I just fell in love with the whole grand production of it all. And I actually, even growing up, I loved musicals too. I, I think part of me thought I might end up doing stage or Broadway or something. I, I just loved the idea of performing. Um, and so as I sort of grew, I always tried to involve myself in as many dramatic activities as I could, whether it was classes or camps or in whatever school I was at. So I've kind of just carried it on through since since the tender age of 11. <laughs> That's great. So was there like an aha moment where you like, I'm going to be successful at this. This is maybe something that I want to do for the rest of your life. Just because speaking for myself, like I had a career and I'm like, I want to be a basketball coach. And then I realized like two years into it, I don't want to do this anymore. It's awful. <laughs> and so was there like, yeah. Was there like an aha moment where you're like, I want to do this. This is going to be the thing that I'm going to do for probably the rest of my life or a good amount of time. And I'm really passionate about it. I know it's what I want to do. I definitely had that moment. The first time I was on set, I was 20 years old. I was studying abroad in London and I was actually working for a music video production company as an intern and they needed um, someone, they needed some ladies in the music video. And so they threw me in there. They knew I was interested in acting. And that first time being on set, it was just like electric, the energy that was around. It was just so exciting. I felt so at home and I could just tell that that's where I wanted to be. That's what I wanted to be uh, spending my future doing was creating, acting, being on set in whatever capacity. So uh, looking at your resume uh, with all the acting that you've done, you seem to uh, gravitate towards drama and horror movies and all that good stuff. So what kind of draws you to that? And is that your favorite genre? As much as I enjoy acting in horror films, um, it is not my favorite genre. In fact, I can't even watch half the horror films out there because I'll have bad dreams. But they're extremely fun to act in. You're given so many different levels and um, scenes, different ranges of emotion, different experiences that aren't necessarily offered to you in just a, a dramatic film or even a, um, a comedy. But I, I actually love comedy. That's where I would like to move towards. Uh, but you know, once you get cast in something and you make friends, you meet people on set, whether it's the actors around you, the director, producers, um, once you make those connections, you tend to keep working with those people. So it's like once I booked one horror film, through that I booked another one, and through that one I booked another one, and then it was kind of just like a snowball effect. And so I just naturally started booking more of those types of jobs. But ultimately I would like to do some more comedy as well and sort of like balance it out a little bit. Yeah, so, uh, as an actor, like, how are you handling it through the pandemic? Like, obviously, it's kind of difficult with the whole virus and stuff. And I know there are some shows that are still filming, but everything is just like, just a disaster. So how are you kind of <laughs> handling it? Um, I've been handling it fine. I mean, it's definitely, you know, it came to a screeching halt for a bit. And now it's slowly been picking up steam again. And auditions are picking back up. I've gotten very good at myself taping at home. So that has been fun and keeping me busy. But I'm also a writer as well. So I've been working on my own screenplay. And because I'm not working full time due to the pandemic, I can use that extra time to work on my own creative projects and um, 
you know, really focus and dive into those. So talk about going into Siberia. What interests you about the process? Uh, and then what kind of drew you to your character? Was the character kind of based off of you or was it like somebody that's completely different, even though you have the same name? Well, the, the character was loosely based off of me because the show itself was filmed based on mostly improvisation um, and trying to give that sort of look of a reality show, even though it was a drama. Um, we didn't know a whole lot about the project. They kept everything very close to the chest and gave us very little information. So even flying out to Canada, you know, we didn't really know a whole lot about the project. Even my parents were like, okay, this is, this is a real show, right? You know, you're going to actually like have <laughs> a job when you get out there. It's not like some scam or something. Um, luckily it wasn't a scam, but, <laughs> uh, it was fun because, Every day on set was something new, something unexpected. We didn't get the script necessarily. Um, as we got further into the project, when the plot and things started to get more complicated, they would give us a script the morning of, but it was mostly just to let us know what was going on. They actually really encouraged us to improvise and um, you know, the director would step in from time to time to sort of like guide us in specific directions he wanted us to go. He might like pass us a note or whisper something in our ear or tell us to say something. But otherwise, we were given a ton of freedom to, uh, you know, just play around and, and improvise on the spot, which was so, so fun. So were they like, when you auditioned for it, were they like, oh, we're kind of looking for that pretty attractive blonde kind of lost Shannon Rutherford, <laughs> Rutherford kind of lost Shannon, not that your character was anything like Shannon Rutherford from Lost but it was kind of like maybe the fish out of water maybe the person they wouldn't expect to be on it so was that kind of the angle that they were kind of pitching and then the rest of the elements would be loosely based off of you or well I think was it was one? like they wanted sort of this like free spirit um hippie-esque girl and um which is not honestly that far away from my, my own natural personality. So it fit pretty well. Um, you know, they gave us random details, like they wanted me to be a veterinarian, which I'm obviously not. But other than that, everything was pretty much based on myself because they just wanted it to feel as real and authentic as possible to give it that reality sort of vibe. So what did you expect going into it? Like, what were your thoughts before doing it? And then getting it how are you feeling like day one of filming i had no expectations honestly like i said they gave us very little information um i was just excited to be working on a show at that point we didn't know where it was going to get picked up or what was going to happen we just knew we were shooting the entire first series it was privately funded so rather than having to just shoot a pilot only and then get picked up and get funding we were able to shoot the whole thing, episode one to 13, which I believe was reduced down to 12 episodes. But we, we really got to dive into the project, which was fun. And then as far as my first day there, um, I mean, I was just really excited. I couldn't wait to get started. And we had a great cast, a great ensemble cast. Everybody got along and yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Yeah, so was there anyone in the cast that you, like, initially bonded with or were you kind of, like, starstruck to be like, yeah, I get to work with them? And was there anyone that kind of, like, shocked you, like, good or bad? Maybe, like, first impression? Um, I, I wasn't starstruck. We starstruck. We were mostly, um, uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Independent actors? We, yeah, we were mostly like new green up and coming actors. So, um, oh, there, we weren't, there weren't any name actors, I guess you could say. Um, but I think it, I was just like struck by the fact of how much we all gelled together because I think initially uh, there was about 12 in the cast when you, when we started with like the full competition group and everybody was just so lovely. It honestly felt kind of like summer camp when we were up there filming. We were pretty secluded. We we're in a, you know, a pretty small rural area of Canada. And so we bonded very quickly because there just wasn't much to do outside of, you know, filming on set every day. So I just, I was really impressed with how a group of that size could all get along so well and be so cohesive and, and work so well together. 
So did you Obviously, actually... I bonded with Annie. Sorry to interrupt you. Who plays my love interest in the show. Um, she was also my roommate while we were there, which I think they did on purpose so that we could sort of, you know, bond and connect and create that uh, relationship with each other so that it would show up on screen as well. Yeah. So were you, you were actually filming like in the woods. Like, yeah. You, you weren't filming like on a soundstage because like uh, there are a bunch of shows that we see that are like, in the woods but they're in a sound stage or whatever so right you were this actually was definitely like, in the woods the area that they chose to film they chose specifically because that area was also supposed to be be super similar and resemble uh the area in siberia that we were supposed to be in so i guess they have similar terrain and wildlife and everything like that yeah so how bad were the conditions because i heard <laughs> in an interview the actor who played joyce or caroline or mm -hmm. whatever her name was because it, she was like joyce the actress caroline the character and then i heard that tommy cut his finger in an interview or somebody chopped up their finger with like a hammer or something <laughs> like, were the conditions really rough because um no, the conditions weren't that rough. I mean, it, we were in a pretty rural area, and so it did get fairly cold as we continued, it, which is crazy because we started in the summer, and it was super hot when we got there, and then it sort of crossed over into fall while we were there, and then the temperature dropped dramatically. So it, it got a little cold, but other than that, it wasn't too difficult. Um, there was a scene where Johnny accidentally, um, I think he was uh, chopping wood, and he accidentally cut his finger and they decided to use it. So that in, in the, on the show, he did actually cut his finger. That is all real. Um, he was a great sport about it. And that's kind of how he approached all of his scenes was to just really like throw himself in there. And, you know, I know at one point there he's like skinning a deer and that was an actual deer that they had found that was already dead. <laughs> um, so he really ran with stuff. And I, I thought that was really, admirable <laughs> well since the conditions weren't that rough i'm just wondering how bad was it going through the lake on day one because you had a, uh, you had a dress and i was like this poor girl yeah, like, I, just, I wasn't wearing the best attire for that was i <laughs> yeah you had, like a, you had like a dress and it was like a mixture between like a scarf and a shawl or something like that yeah and, like, i was in like this max sun dress and um didn't have boots or anything like that so yeah, it, it was, it, I, you know, I had fun doing it. I'm, I'm a rough and tumble kind of girl. I like to go camping. I love the outdoors. So for me, I kind of just got into it. I kind of like mentally thought of it as like, you know, some kind of obstacle course or something. It was just, <laughs> just went for it. Um, so then going uh, after that, uh, when you had to, uh, so you had that scene and then you had the one where you to like uh, hike for the mushrooms and stuff like that. Was that kind of rough or like? Uh... No, not really. I mean, we weren't hiking per se. We were mostly just walking around in the woods. So that wasn't very strenuous at all. So was there anything that uh, you wish got aired that maybe wasn't or that got cut out or maybe do you have any like funny bloopers? And then after that, maybe like any funny behind the scenes stories? Um, actually, I think they used most of the scenes that I shot. I can't think of, oh, you know, actually, there was a scene, because uh, I do, you know, spoiler alert, I do disappear somewhere within the series. And we did shoot a scene of me, like, actually getting kidnapped. And they never put that in the show. They leave it very vague. And I think Part of that is to do with they kept changing the the plot and the script like in the moment. If stuff felt like it was working or not working, they would literally do rewrites there on the spot. So I think certain things they shot to use as like a just in case or because they weren't sure if they were gonna use it or not. I think it would have been more clear as to what happened to my character if they did use that scene because um, it, you know, it was just a little vague. And I know some of the fans and people that have reached out to me that have watched it were kind of surprised and confused as to what happened to my character. <laughs> so I think that would have helped with my storyline in particular. But um, as far as funny behind the scenes moments, honestly, I think because like I said, we all got along so well, there was just a lot of 
laughing, joking, messing around, sing-alongs, you know, like all kinds of goofing around. Um, I know we did get a little rowdy one of the nights when we had gone out for, uh, a, I think it was Johnny's birthday, and we almost got kicked out of our hotel because we were being a little too loud when we got back. But that just goes to show you how much fun we were having and what great friends we had become. And, you know, I think that was just a good, a good sign of our, our ensemble bond. <laughs> yeah, and I think that it's really impressive just from like how you guys, as you were saying, your new actors, you're really good friends and you got along so well, but then you're able to turn into like this primal survival, like yeah. we're just trying to start a competition and we're right. going to cut each other's throats and, like, well, everybody who was there was like definitely very dedicated to their work. They took it very seriously. So it's like once we got on set, everybody was just kind of laser focused and went into that mode. And, you know, I think it, it shows in the show. So uh, I have to talk about the uh, skinny dipping scene. Were you <laughs> excited to do that? Were you like, this is great? Or were you like, what the hell am I doing? Were you like, I read and you were just like sitting, you were just like, I wish I was sitting on that rock. Like, I didn't mind actually. I mean, I was able to like sort of cover myself when I jumped in and when you're in the water, you couldn't really see anything. So um, I was, I was okay with it. I was, I had fun. I thought it was a, a cute moment. Yeah, unlike Esther, she was... Esther, yeah, she... <laughs> I would love to she had a little bit more of a raw her. deal on that one. Yeah, I would love to interview her to ask her about all those stuff. Like how she yeah. Was really almost... She oh. was a trooper, though. She was very professional. She was. She, yeah. she was very much a trooper. So you talked about, like, with your character uh, dying or whatever, uh, after like the eighth episode which is really weird that they gave you like a gap or whatever like you left and then all of a sudden like she's back and she's dead or whatever compared to like the other characters yeah but did the producers actually have a plan with you and Anne's relationship because obviously there was the kissing scene and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then you just leave and then I was just like, why is this just starting and she just leaves? Like, did the producers <laughs> actually have a plan for this or was that just it? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure what their plan was. Like, like I said, they, they were changing it on the spot quite a bit. Um, and I think there were areas that were a little underdeveloped and I think that was one of them. So I yeah. think there could have been a bit more attention to that part of the storyline. I definitely think your character was underdeveloped. I was like, why, why is she, why, like, why is she in this relationship? And then she just leaves. <laughs> and then she's, dead. she's so well, rude. She just leaves her high and dry. <laughs> well, it's, not, it's not even leaving her high and dry. They were just like, like, apparently what the producer said, it was supposed to be based off Lost and Survivor. So like comparing your characters, like I said before, you have the, your character and you have like Shannon's character with mm -hmm. when Shannon and Lost, she was in this relationship with a guy and she was like finding her confidence and then she gets shot after like being a prima donna princess for like 40 episodes and then she's finally coming to her own and it's like the same with you is like you're coming into your own you're starting to forge this relationship and really likes this relationship and then you just leave like i i wonder what the producer like was that on your accountant or was the producers just like you like Anne? you're gonna leave, you're gonna die. Like, was that your choice or was that theirs? Oh, it was definitely not my choice. I don't think any actor would choose to kill themselves off in a show. <laughs> um, but I honestly think that it would have made more sense, like I had said, if they had included that scene of me being kidnapped. Um, and I think if I recall, it was a little while ago now, but I was, um, they had like, in the scene, they had like forced me to write the note, which is the note that um, I leave that she finds. I think if they had put in that little scene, it would have made it seem more like um, it wasn't me just bailing on Annie, that I actually was taken from the camp by some, some you know, whatever the mysterious force is. Um, I think that would have probably answered a little bit more questions for people. But no, I just, I just don't think it was um, very fleshed out. Yeah, because I was just like, I like even like the person, like even the people who were like first and I guess you would say boot or whatever you call it, 
like the first and second person to leave even they left and they're like this is why i left and you were like the only one where it was really like she leaves there's a huge blank and then there's just like nothing Mm -hmm. like how are you feeling as far as like your character is getting developed it's getting fleshed out like a little bit before the time that you leave and then you receive the script like how are you like just as like not even an actor but like as a person where you're like pissed off do you go to producers and be like what the heck is this like and honestly you just have to roll with the punches especially with the nature of the show and how how they had been filming and how they had been developing it as we went along you know nothing was promised and guaranteed necessarily because they honestly have to do what's best for what they feel um, the progression and trajectory of the show. And that was what they had felt they needed. I think I, I'm guessing maybe somewhere in the middle, maybe they felt like it dragged or something and they thought maybe making my character disappear might make things more dramatic again. But honestly, I, I'm not sitting in the producers meetings and I'm not sitting in the writer's room. So I, I don't know what their motive was behind it. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, the only thing that I can think of is Esther had that relationship with, I forget his name, he's blanking on me, with the with one guy. Johnny? No, not with Johnny. Oh, it with Milion? Yeah, he had the relationship with Milion, and then Joyce had the relationship with Johnny, and then maybe having a third relationship would be too complicated, but I thought it would have been interesting, because I read an artic- article, like, literally yesterday, and it was like, we wish Natalie had stayed on the show LGT. LGBTQ <laughs> fans deserve better. Like, why didn't this happen? I'm happy to hear. You'll have to send me that article. Yeah. But uh, let me see if I have any more questions. Um, so uh, do you have, like, any upcoming uh, projects that you uh, are working on? I have some projects that I'm, I'm going to be filming myself. I have a couple shorts that I'm going to be shooting. Again, like I said, because things are a little slowed down, uh, it's given me time to work on my own projects. So as of now, that's what I'm focused on, my writing. And then I have two shorts that I want to shoot. Now, I think this is interesting, but I always, would, I always want to ask people who work on these survival type shows, would you ever do an actual reality show and how do you think you would fare compared to your <laughs> character? So I have thought about this. My dad and I actually used to joke about wanting to do Amazing Race together, uh, which I think we would, we would do pretty well. I don't know if, it, if maybe our window has passed, but um, I, as far as like a survivalist type show, I don't know if I would do that. I, I used to think when I was younger that I didn't want to do reality because I wanted to be a serious, credible actress. And I thought maybe reality might steer my career in another direction. Um, and now I, you know, I'm just, it doesn't, it just doesn't interest me as much reality as, uh, shows. I'm more into the, um, like I said, comedy dramas. I did some stage stuff for a little while. You know, I, that's really more my forte. Yeah, I want to audition for The Amazing Race is like the one show I wanted to audition for. I actually want to work on Survivor Production. Okay. If you get paid to actually do all the fun stuff and you don't have to starve and do all the miserable things. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like that sounds like a sweet too. spot. But uh, yeah, my partner is like a 6'4 baseball player, so clearly we're nothing alike. So <laughs> that, that would be interesting. But uh, is there anyone from the show that you like keep in contact with or anything like that? Oh, gosh, I feel like we used to keep in contact quite a bit, but it's it's been so many years now that it's I've kind of like slowly fallen off. I think the person that I still keep the most in contact with, and I actually owe him a call, um, is Sam Dobbins, which... Actually, I think there was a scene between him and I that ended up getting cut that would have been really good too. I can't, that's the thing. It's been, it's been a little while, but I love Sam and his wife, Patsy. They're um, very dear to me. You know, Sam, even though he comes off really tough in the show, he's just a big softy and I just love him. And I've actually brought him in on another project when I was um, shooting this feature, Zero Tolerance. Um, 
the director was looking to fill one of the roles and I suggested Sam. And so he was able to come out and shoot with us in Minnesota, which was great. So I just, I have so much love for him. That's a real, that's really cool. It was interesting on the show because he was like really rough and tough. He beat the I know. Of that camera guy. So, <laughs> and he was one of my favorite. I just remember being, you know, waiting to shoot our scenes and we would be talking in New York accents together. Well, his is like legit accent, but I was just like putting one on and we would just have so much fun going back and forth. Yeah. And then my last two questions are, uh, if you could be the writer and if you could shape your character, for like the ending of Siberia, do it like whatever you want. Like what happens to Natalie? What would you want to happen to her? And also, was there any other character that you wish you played or was like fleshed out more throughout the show maybe? Um, I really liked my character. So I honestly don't think I would have liked to play any other characters. I know Esther's character seemed really fun because she got to be like sort of this saucy, manipulative, um, Minx, <laughs> which is always a fun character. Um, but I actually really enjoyed my character. It was, um, you know, very close to home as far as the type of person she was. And, and I was really comfortable with that. I would have obviously loved to extend the, um, the relationship with Annie and have that continue further. I do think that could have gone into a really interesting direction so if I were to change something I think maybe you know I would have kept my character around and kept developing the relationship with Annie and then you know maybe rather than sticking with the group the two of us could have just gone off and and camped on our own and figured out our own plan. <laughs> well how mad was she that when you left she's like crap I don't have a roommate anymore. <laughs> well then she had a room to herself so that's not too bad either. Yeah. But that's all the questions that I have. Is there anything that maybe you want to mention that I didn't get to mention or anything like that? I feel like you covered it all. Well, did, thanks so did much. did a very thorough job. <laughs> yeah, I do my research. Thanks so much for being so cooperative. Thank you so much for interviewing Bye. me. It was a pleasure. Bye. Have a good